Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in, when you find value in this video, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, and leave a comment in the YouTube section. Let's dig in and take a look at Bitcoin's perpetual futures and options and see what it tells us. Let me turn on my mouse highlighter. Here we go. This is a one day chart zoomed out to uh, June of 2021 to present time over here. And I zoomed out a little bit just to give us a better perspective of what's happening compared to uh, the past. Uh, I did four hour uh, periods before, but I think that's too zoomed in. And this is on coinalize.net. Here we have uh, Bitcoin. Uh, you can see that the, uh, tr um, the trends. Um, the yesterday here th on this candle from yesterday, you can see the wick down from um, Russia doing a full scale attack on Ukraine. And then it finished uh, and then it pushed all the way down to roughly 34.4, went back up to 39.9, and then it created another daily candle here. Uh, this is UTC. Um, this is in uh, Pacific Standard Time, UTC minus 8. Well, um, anyways, so there's the price. What's happening with open interest? You can see open interest has been still declining since um, February the, uh, the 16th. And this is open interest on um, using stable, uh, stable coins. You see that it's still declining. And overall, the trend for the um, open in interest backed by coins like Bitcoin or Ethereum is pretty much flat. You know, overall, it's pretty much flat. Back here, it was, uh, in November, it was really high. And uh, December, it trended down slightly. But this is nothing compared to this period over here. And, uh, go down, going down to, uh, we're going to skip the aggregated predicted uh, funding rate here. Um, that's predicted. Let's go to what's the actual. Actual, you know, it's been like since um, February the 20th, it's been in, in the negative, and the lowest was negative 0 0.005. And like, like I mentioned in the past videos, this, that's not much to write home about. Combine this with the funding rate being pretty low, you know, that's not going to impact the price that much. The reason the price went, uh, went down significantly was because of the uh, Russia attacking Ukraine. That's why it went down. And the reason it bounced back up, really because the sanctions imposed, the additional sanction imposed um, was pretty much tiny little mosquito bites. So the market reacted positively and price went up. It did liquidate the shorts, but it really wasn't impacted by th these indications. So overall, um, you know, these indicators are still pretty weak to impact the price. Uh, going down to the um, demand and supply down here, represented by Q uh, CVD, cumulative volume delta. Um, you can see that it, it's still dropping. You know, back here, uh, this is around, back here was high. April was, back April 2021 was higher. It's, it's still relatively pretty low. So zoomed out like this gives us a better uh, indication of in the longer uh, time frame or a higher time frame, if you will. Let's go to um, the um, expiries. This is, uh, this is options, open interest by expiry dates. So the 25th, we have uh, one of our higher open interest days. So we wanna, this is tomorrow. We wanna monitor that and the 25th of March. 24th of June. So right now we want to focus on this one. Um, let's see what ha happens. We'll check out volume. Volume for tomorrow is also high. Volume for the 4th is also high in March. And the 25th is um, pretty decently high. So what's Max Payne? Before we get to Max Payne, let's take a look at the, um, the uh, GEX. This one right here, the green... Uh, call here it's at 40 40k 
and the um, the top, the bottom red bar here that's 38 that's for the put and so we want to watch those prices right there um, around 38 to 40k there could be some volatility there keep an eye on that and we're currently at 38.6 I think so what's uh, max pain max pain is around 40k and price tends to move towards max pain when things are relatively normal as normal as can be in crypto so max pain for tomorrow is 40 given that we're you know we kind of priced in the russian invasion uh, for now and it's at 38.6 roughly potentially could price move to uh, 40 possibly possibly because especially when we looked at um you know at 40 there's some volatility there based on the gex Let's go to, um, and on the 26th, max pain is 37. So tomorrow, max pain is, is 40, and then drops back to 37, and then March the 4th, back to 38. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at 40, 37, 38. So it's still kind of bounce around upper 30s, right? But tomorrow, we'll see how they're going to move the price. This is the um, liquidation level map from um, high, uh, high Block Capital. And you can see here, we had a long period of uh, sh short uh, shorts being, uh, there were more high liquidation levels for shorts. And then that changed when uh, price moved, significant, uh, bounced up right here, uh, just before the uh, san additional sanctions sanctions were announced and at the time of the sanction was announced bitcoin just shot up that liquidated a lot of the shorts so now we have more uh, high liqu liquidation levels for longs than we do shorts and it's roughly about 2.8 uh, billion dollars uh, worth and th this is only for binance and that's from um, 25x to 100x le uh, uh, leverage and this level is what we're talking about here so could price move, 40 would be right roughly around here. That's where max pain is. If price moves up to this area, uh, it will liquidate these, sh uh, these short levels here. And if price moves down, it will liquidate these uh, levels here. What are the probability of price moving up? It's it possible. Uh, max pain is it's up in the 40s for tomorrow. So it could move it up to here and then bounce back to here. And in my other videos, I mentioned that it could be choppy. Choppy being around um, 36, what is it? 36.5 to roughly, um, I forget what it was. Uh, I need to pull it up again. But I talked about it late, uh, earlier today. But it's, there's a range, roughly around 36.5 to um, I think 39 maybe. I forget. But so it, very possibly it could go up, go down. It could just chop around here and these levels will be cleared so let's take a look at um, the heat map and see where there are some what are some what are the walls at those levels um, this is uh, the heat map from um, the rise here Bitcoin rise and then liquidating the shorts but this was mainly because of the reaction to the uh, uh, the sanctions, additional sanctions, and along the way, it squeezed the shorts out, but I think it was more motivated by the bullish sentiments. So right now, um, we will look at some of the uh, levels that uh, that were mentioned. So f around 40K is right here. There's not much up there. We have some, re some resistance at 39.5 right here, and a lot of um, s stronger spoofing right here just above there's more spoofing above than there are uh, spoofing below it uh, down below we have 36.5 was a, a level that I mentioned um, it's there well it disappeared it was there let's try again 35 I guess 35 is right here uh, 35 34 33 32 uh, a larger one at 30 um, 
that's 32, 5. This is 32. And then 30. Uh, just some tiny ones up here, 31, uh, 31, 30.5. But the larger one is um, 30, which remains right here. 29 is a, it's a decent size one too. So um, could, it, could it go up? Uh, sure, it could go up, but there's some resistance here. But that could change any time. Um, there seems to be a wall right here. So they're going to duke it out, the bulls and the bears. And we'll see. Um, more than likely, what I think, based on what's happening in the data here, uh, not enough uh, open interest and uh, funding rate uh, signals strength to signify a move because of them. Uh, it's more going to be um, choppiness. And the um, max pain price, yeah, it could move. It could push toward 40 and land somewhere near there, and then it could uh, properly drop back down as well. So I appreciate your time. And uh, if you found value in this video, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, and leave a comment in the YouTube section. I appreciate it. See you in the next video. Probably one more tonight, and then uh, more tomorrow. Peace.